Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have our 2011 Cadillac STS and we have our headlight assembly removed from the car to be able to replace this light bulb. This light bulb is actually out and so we're going to replace it with a new one to reinstall that. So to start with on the top there are two push pins here that you would remove. There's one Phillips screw right here. There's also push pins that go along this all the way across but those are also part of the panels that cover most of the engine bay. So down here inside the wheel well there is um, two push pins, one push pin right here. That way then we can pull this cover back. There's one number 10 bolt that's right up in here that we would loosen and remove. And up here you'd, you'd reach your hand in or, or fill your way in. There is another bolt that you just need to loosen up a teeny bit to be it so the bumper will fall down. Now you'll want to undo the electric that goes to this light so that when you pull it away and so we're going to pull it away a little bit and then we also want to disconnect the electric or not the electric the water line there for the window washer spray that will come out to clean your headlights. So we've loosened this and now we're able if you pull on the top of the bumper and pull right here, we can pull this a little bit forward. We just want to come enough that we can get access down inside here. And you're going to see this connection right here. And we're going to squeeze it and pull it off. But we're going to want to put something to plug it there. Otherwise, all of our... Uh... No, that didn't work out very well, did it? All of our windshield washer fluid will leak out. And it's easy to just disconnect it right here because this runs from this side to both sides of the um, of the thing. So I'm going to disconnect. Just disconnect and unless you can cap it off, get yourself a, uh, a container and a funnel and catch your windshield washer fluid so you can put it back in when you're done. So. We're going to be able to pull this away. We have an electric connector on the back here that we want to undo. Okay, so we've got the electric undone on that side. Let's go ahead and undo the electric on the other side. Okay, so we have the electric undone. Now, be careful to pull and remove this. So to get to this, you need to remove the bumper first. We have a clip about how to do that. And then we've got a bolt here, here, and one bolt, not right here, to remove, and an electrical connector to remove on the bottom there. So with those three bolts removed, we'll be able to just pull this forward and away. And then we'll want to, there's an electric connector down here that we need to undo by pressing. That electrical connector undone, we have now been able to remove this whole unit. So once you remove the housing, you're going to want to get to this side of it and we want to undo this bolt here and this whole cover will come off. So that's a number eight. And then we just pop the cover. So I just pulled that electric connector just to give us a little bit more um, ease of ability here and then this light is just pressed up in here and so you twist it and you're able to pop the light out. Now you can pull it out, you can also pull this clip, it gives you a little bit extra space and then you're just going to pull this light bulb out and get a new one to put in it. 5W5 and so we've got a new light bulb And 
you're going to place that in there. Okay. You get it in there, twist it to the lock position. Make sure you reconnect this electric here. This gasket has seen a better day. So you could potentially replace it. And so then you're just going to get it lined up by putting it at an angle so these two tabs line up. And then close this up, put your uh, bolt in here, and tighten it up. So that's how you would replace your daytime running light. So we have our headlight assembly right here. And we just want to make sure we push this electric connector back up. And we'll hear the lock. Click there. You've got two little guide pins that are going to line up into this metal here on the side. So we line those up. Right there. And then we have the bolt here, here, and a nut that goes on right there. So this is where you're making sure you get the, uh, those, um, the wiper fluid actuators in where they need to go. Slide this up there. Everything to basically sit and line up. I have some screwdrivers to just put in here to hold this up temporary on the front there while we come around this side and are able to um, get that this bolt here up in the channel, slide it forward, and then be able to put the, the screw in that holds it on. Alright, so here's where you want to make sure we get this to go up. There's a little open indent, and then we're going to slide it back. Alright, that is slid back into place. Okay, so we've got our number 10 bolt started, and we'll tighten it up. Okay, then we have the light here that goes for the side marker that we're going to want to install. And that's just by inserting and twisting a quarter turn to the right. And then we have this electrical connector is what holds for the turn, or, turn light and a fog light. We're going to connect that up. And the last one on this side is we have the water line that we need to hook up back to the, uh, the reservoir for our windshield washer fluid. And there's a few to put in the bottom, a few push pins, maybe a few screws. And then up top here, we've got two push pins and one um, screw that goes right here. The same installing of the bumper that we did on this side with the two push pins up top here and the screw and then also the um, push pins in the fender well and hooking all that up. You'll do basically the same on the other side and you finish that up. Now the only thing on the other side is you don't have a water line to hook up. You just have the two electric uh, lines, one for the, the light and one for the, um, the blinker unit itself. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.